Alright guys, it's Saturday here in Nice and I want to talk about my upcoming races for 2019. My race plans, my goals, we'll talk a little bit about my time goals as well for the different distances. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, it's mid-morning here in uh, France, it's, I'm just chilling, I'm heading out on a run in about half an hour, but f before that, I want to tell you guys about my plans for 2019, in terms of racing. So, 2018 was really my first year of, I would say, like really proper training, like a full year of solid training, uh, and some great races, my first two half marathons, um, you know, my first attempts at certain distances. I'm just a great overall training year. 2019 is now upon us, uh, actually it's already started and I have some awesome plans. So I guess we will start with uh, the next few months and then we'll move through the year like that. So right now we're in early January or mid January actually. And I am planning on doing two races while I'm here in France. But actually, they're not focus races, they're more like just like a training run that I do in a race, okay? So there's the first one coming up in February called uh, Trail the Aires, or in French, Trail de Aires, or something like that, I don't know. I'm really bad at pronouncing French, even though I should be good at it because my grandmother was French and I'm a quarter French and I've been in France my whole life and I had six years of French in school. Still, I'm pretty bad at it. Trail de Aise. Trail de Aise. I don't know, something like that. It's a trail run in Aise, basically. Close by Nice. Um, there's an 11k distance, a uh, 19k distance, and a 30k distance. I'm thinking of doing the 11k distance and just doing it as a high end aerobic training run. Meaning, I'll just be running comfortably hard below my lactate threshold, you know, just below it and uh, just uh, enjoy a day in the hills uh, in a race setting. So part of my training, really. I talked about it a little bit actually in my uh, video a few weeks ago where I talked about my winter training schedule. You can check that out here. Then I'll do probably uh, either a half marathon, a 10K or a 5K. It's all part of the same event, which is called uh, Semi de Cannes or something like that, which is uh, in Cannes. It's a, it's a race. Semi means, uh, you know, half marathon, I think that's what they refer to. And uh, that's also just going to be part of my training. Again, just a high-end aerobic run. Or maybe I'll try a 5k PR, maybe. I don't know, it depends on how I feel on in that per period of my training. Anyway, let's get to the first real race of my season, which is... In Sweden, half marathon on the 18th of May. I'm heading to Gut Gutenberg. Well, you're the boy in Sweden to do a half marathon. It's my third half marathon. It's my second time really attempting a good time on a half marathon. Let's talk about my time goals. Well, you never quite know what you're capable of until until you're in the tr you know in the in the build up where you can see how your body responds to workouts, etc. So I don't know, but if I were to throw out an educated guess, right, and knowing myself. Going sub uh, 130, I went 133 in Oslo. This is a flatter course, so I'll definitely go sub 130. That's I would be disappointed if I didn't. So something like that. Um, could I go as fast as 124 or something? <laughs> I mean, if I do, I'll be kind of shocked, but maybe I'm able to do it, sub 125. But likely somewhere between 125 and 130, that's, that's probably where I'm going to end up. Uh, or or not, maybe I'll go way faster or way slower, who knows? Depends on the weather a little bit as well, if it gets hot, which it can, it can get hot in that period, so let's hope not though. So I'm still in the base phase, just building aerobic base, but I'll be slowly now moving into that build up and in about a month I'll be starting, just barely starting that, that build up with hard workouts, etc. After that I'll recover and I'll do a little bit of base phase again, just during summer, just a little bit, before starting my you know, my real build up to the main event of the year, which is, drum roll, a marathon. Oh yeah, I'm doing Nice Marathon. So here in Nice, Marathon, November 2019. 
2nd or 3rd of November 2019, I'm doing a marathon, my first ever marathon, my debut marathon. And what better place to do it than here in Nice, where I feel at home and uh, it's a good climate in November. I think it would be like really good, not too hot, not too cold, just like pretty perfect, I think. Um, and you know, now that I'm here in Nice, I'll get to train on the course. So I'll familiarize myself with the whole course during my time here and that's a good thing. Intimidating for sure, a marathon, 42.2k. Whoa, that's long, that's, that's far, that's far. But I will build up my long run distance over the course of the year. I will build up my mileage a little bit, uh, probably peak at something like 100k per week before the marathon, I, maybe 110, I don't know, uh, which is not that much if you wanna do well in a marathon, but uh, it's, I think it's enough for me to just do my first marathon, you know. Fairly flat course, um, and just, oh, it's epic. The, the thought of a marathon, oh, so cool, also very intimidating. Time goal-wise, I don't know what to expect from a marathon, to be perfectly honest. But, of course, I do know exercise physiology, I do know uh, the way uh, certain, um, there's a certain connection between your different times. So, you know, if, you're, if you run this time for a 5K, you'll probably run this time for a 10K. If you run this time for a 10K, you'll probably run this time for a half marathon, etc. And you can sort of estimate your marathon time based on your half marathon time, etc. So, um, how much fitness will I gain over the, in the whole of 2019? That's also difficult to predict. So, in terms of time goals for the, for the marathon, it's very difficult. But as a thought, I throw out there, it's just like, I want to go sub three, right? Like, if I can go sub three hours, I would be happy. And then, to what extent I will go sub three, if I just barely do it, or if I'm able to go way below sub three hours, I don't know. Who knows, I might even not be able to go sub three. We'll see. Uh, that's exciting though, very exciting. But I have a few other races I'll throw in there as well, and that is uh, before the half marathon in Göteborg, in April, I will do Centrumslöpe, which is like a 10K here in, in or not here, well, in Oslo. Uh, 10K, very famous 10K race in Oslo, fairly fast course. Uh, so I think I'll attempt that as a 10K PR. It's like three weeks, three or four weeks before the half marathon. I think that's a good way to sort of test my um, fitness a little bit and uh, as part of the build-up but I'll probably race it all out or maybe like almost all out we'll see so that's coming up as well what else uh, in the summer there's being a bad Europa, the raspberry run that I've almost well I've done it twice I'll probably do that as well just as part of my training really not really a race and then in the autumn I might jump into a couple of races just as part of my training again. I won't race them, I'll just train, uh, do them as, as a training run. One of them is probably going to be Oslo half marathon. <clears throat> Whether or not I will uh, run the half marathon distance as a slow uh, long run, or if I'll maybe run it at marathon pace, you know, it's about six weeks out from the marathon, so maybe it's a good time to actually run a half marathon at marathon pace just to see what marathon pace feels like perhaps or maybe i'll just do the 10k i don't know yet so those are some things i need to figure out and then of course after the marathon it's going to just be recovery for a few weeks and uh, just going into base phase again over uh, until christmas really which uh, which is then going to be a little bit of a break and then start my 2020 year which i already have thoughts about what i want to do in 2020 Honestly, I have thoughts about what I want to do in 2025, okay? Maybe that's a topic for another video. I can talk about my dream races and my long-term progression plans. But for now, those are my race plans for 2019. I'm super excited. I feel fairly fit. After my break, I lost a bit of fitness, of course, to be expected. I was sick as well. And now I'm sort of building back into it. And I'm, f I'm starting to sort of get back into my <clears throat> uh, fitness. And yeah, as I said, I'm heading out for a run now in uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, together with a girl, actually, she's going to be on the roller blades. So she's going to be roller skating and I'm going to be running. And I'm thinking of doing like a 5k warm up, uh, followed by three kilometers at like marathon pace, just like, like high end aerobic sub lactate threshold type pace, and then 2k cool down. So 10k on the promenade, she'll be on the roller blades 
Let me know in the comments what races you have coming out for 2019. I definitely want to hear about them. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber if you haven't done so already. And if you are already subscribed, thank you. All right, have a great day. Bye.